number six, stoichiometry. You guys did really well in stoichiometry. Do you remember the stoichiometry? Not really. Yeah. Oh, okay, see, way to be honest. I think this was right before I had the baby. Oh. Oh, I forgot you did it. I know, I did too. I was watching myself do some of these on Moto yesterday, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I looked like that. <laughs> Alright, so um, this one's asking how many liters of phosphine, so this guy, how many liters of this are formed when you have 0 0.42 liters of hydrogen that reacts with phosphorus? So our stoichiometry, hi, I'm videotaping myself. <laughs> There's Miss Brown. <laughs> with stoichiometry, you set up your three conversions. I'm going to post these, so if you want the link so your kids can look at them too. Awesome. I'm just looking for a book. Oh, okay. Um, whatever unit you have on top is your unit that's going to go on bottom because you want them to cancel out. So liters of hydrogen. And then the key is just change everything to moles. And we can't change two things at once. So if we're changing liters to moles, then our hydrogen has to stay the same. Moles of hydrogen. I'm not going to put it in numbers yet. I'm just going to work for the units. Okay? And then I'm going to want to get rid of moles of hydrogen. So moles of hydrogen go on the bottom. This sound familiar that the middle conversion is your moles to moles conversion? You guys remember that? Oh, yes. yeah. So we're going to change moles to whatever we want. So let's go back to the question and figure out what we want. The question said, how many liters of phosphine? So we want, eventually, liters of this pH3. So first got to change it to moles of pH3. Okay. And then whatever's on top goes on the bottom because we want it to cancel out. And we can only change one thing at a time, so we're changing moles to liters and leaving the compound the same. Okay, now I'm going back and work the numbers. Moles on the outside, what's the number that always goes with moles on the outside? That was always one. Okay. What's our number that goes with liters? 22.4. Okay, and this is also liters, so this also gets a 22.4. Where did this middle conversion come from? The equation, from, yeah. the equation right? And is our equation balanced for these, for these, I think, oh no, that's right, 6 times 2 is 12, 4 times yeah. 3 is 12. Okay, so how many moles of pH3 do we have? 4. 4, that big number in front. And how many moles of H2 do we have? Six, that big number in front. Yep. Then how do you solve this? Okay, multiply five. and divide. But look at this. We know by multiplying by one and divide by one is still the same thing, so we don't have to do those, right? Okay, so we can ignore those. Those will cancel out. If I divide by 22.4 and multiply by 22.4, that cancels out. So I really just have to multiply by four and divide by six, which is the same thing as multiplying by two thirds. Right? So if you guys can beat me on your calculators, go ahead. We'll do this on the board. 0 0.42 times 2. Here's 4. 4 times 2 is 8.84. Divide that by 3. 0 0.84 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8 2 times, which is 6. And that was then 2. 3 goes into 24. 8 times? Yeah. 0.28. Does anyone beat me on your calculator? Yeah. Oh, you should have called out the answer. 0 0.28. 0.28 liters of pH 3. <coughs> Alright, questions on this guy? No, Bob, stop that. So you don't have long ones. <laughs> 